Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to Foundation. Um, so, little thing happened. Uh, did some research, found out previous game was not the new update. So now I have the new update. We're going to get to it. Um, I'm going to try to do like a little fast forward build thing until I have my houses kind of where I was in the last video. Uh, just because I don't want you guys to have to see that stuff all the time. Uh, I don't know what the heck's going on. I got this new box over here that's here, which is kind of crazy. Uh, new extraction zone available. Uh, let's see. Okay, everything seems to look the same. Lord's Manor. Let's check out this. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, it, it looks to be pretty much the same stuff. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down this lumber camp to start and then I'm just going to kind of uh, fly through here and see uh, see what we can do. So, yep.
Whew, that was uh, <clears throat> that was exciting. Sorry about that. I uh, had to catch myself back up there because apparently I didn't read the notes. Derp. Good job, YouTuber. Anyway, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to unlock this trade route for tools because I should have 20, yep, 20 planks. So <clears throat> what that's going to do is that's going to unlock it so I get one free territory. With that territory, I'm going to get this one right here. Okay, because this is what we're going to do. I got this territory now. And what I want to do with it is I want to build my church over here. Because what unlocked new with this is when you first unlock the ability to build your Lord Manor, it now also allows you to build your church. So I can now come into here and build my wooden, my rustic church, which is just going to be great. So I'm going to build him right over here because this is kind of like the residential area. And I just kind of want the the first church to just kind of be right over here along uh, this, this route here. Uh, because this is kind of how people are coming in and out of the area right now as well. Uh, what I want to do, let's just put some forbidden land down here. And I'm just going to ride this along here. Bring that down a little bit. Ride it up over here. Oop, not right there though. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some decorations on this wall, this path right here to give them a little bit of like, uh, where is it? Oh, I can't. I need 15 surfs first. Okay. So that's the only thing I hadn't done yet. I just haven't gotten to the end of the month um, and promoted some people to surf and built a warehouse. So let's get my warehouse built now. Now that we have plenty of stuff to do it. Oh yeah, we got plenty of stuff to build up the warehouse really fast here. Uh, let's start this church actually as well. So rustic church. Um, I'm gonna build it right here. Cool. Uh, let's get the core to go down. I want to kind of do it like, uh, yeah, something like that maybe. Yes. Uh, this door. Let's go right off the front with it. Does that look good? So far, so good. Um, towers. A church always has a big old tower in my mind. At least like all the old school churches all have a big old bell tower. Uh, a cross on top of the bell tower. Um, these are wooden extensions. I'm going to put just a couple of these on each side. That's the wrong one. Maybe just a couple like that. And then another door that comes out this side. Maybe over here by that door. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. I'm going to accept that. That that's going to be our... It costs 10 gold coins up front to build that guy. I'm just going to put another cross right up on the top there. Because it's a church after all. And you know what? I think... I think that that might do it. You know what I'm going to do real quick? This door here. Trash. I hate it. I'm going to take this door and put it there. Because that one at least looks a little bit better. This one's kind of like a, an official entrance. And then that one over there is like the, the side entrance. Can I rotate you? There we 
go. Nope, it only wants to go that way on the church. That's okay. That's okay. An envoy is requesting an audience. Okay, let's start the construction with that guy. Let's come up here to the envoy. Click on him. I deliver 20 fish. Deliver 20 fish. Deliver 20 fish. I'm keeping it all. Uh, right now, I have to keep it all. I just, I do not have uh, a fishery up yet. Because in order to do that, I think... Yeah, Fisher's Hut, I need 20 serfs in order to do it. So I can't do that yet. But we are working on our church today, which that's wonderful. Um, did I get that warehouse built? That warehouse is built. Let's assign a villager, slot, tools. Uh, and then purchase tools in the trading menu. Okay. Trade. Uh, trading resources. Uh, buy until it reaches... 20. All right, now we just have to keep keep up everything, keep it all going. I can buy another area already. Like, ooh, I might want to buy this because I'm going to want fishing. There's technically fish over here too, but I want to buy this zone. Let's see, what exactly is this zone? Ooh, that is nothing but just a whole bunch of water. If I buy this one, now this one, I get this hill area, and technically I could build a bridge that goes right here, but then everybody's going to be going through their neighborhood to get over here. Technically, I have fishing over here, but that's kind of man. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to just go with that one for now. I still have 200 gold, so we are good. Let's get off territory. How are they doing on my church over here? They're working it out pretty good. Okay, at the end of the month, we're almost to the end of the month right now. Ready three? Actually, that's funny. Month three, week. This is literally exactly where I did it in the last video um, to get it right here. So we're actually on par, if not a little bit better, actually off right now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get these serfs going. I have 200. I have enough to promote 10 people to serfs. 11, actually. Oops, sorry for hitting the mic. Let's keep it going. Okay. Lots of villagers. Um, Virginia is assigned to the warehouse. I'm going to assign one more villager. Yeah, that works. That works. Uh, who's working the stall right now? He's working the stall. That's good. So. Almost done here. We just need tools now, really. So we just need that trader to come through and, and sell us these tools that we so desperately need right now. Until we can start building them ourselves. Unless you can't build them ourselves. I don't remember if they can or they can't. Why is nobody building right here? Maybe because more people don't want houses? But it's it's strange to me that they wouldn't want houses. Okay, let's just... Builders are all, all up. Let's get that guy in. Um, Let's go here. Ooh, I know what I need to do. Here. Let's go wood, uh, planks, and stone. Yeah, now everybody's getting to work. Uh, you, let's get another miner. In fact, let's get two more miners. Maybe if we have two more miners, they'll actually, uh, everybody will actually get to work and start building more houses too because they'll have a job and they can afford it. A miner could not find a resource in an extraction zone. Ooh, I'm gonna hate doing this. That This is literally gonna kill me to do this. Because I hate when they do stuff on the side of the wall, but... Good enough, I guess. Because right now I just, I don't see another resource for them to gather on. Because even in this area over here, until we clear out these trees, I'm not sure. Alright, can we do some reforestation? I'm going to try to get all this forested on up for now, so I can extract it all again later. Why didn't I get to promote anybody to... Is there like a promotion button now? General, where is the promotion button now? Do I have to go to my villagers list and do I have to have like be ready? Because normally at the end of the month it just pops up a screen, right? Maybe nobody was able to? Ooh, we are losing a ton of money. Why are we losing so much money? Oh, because we're buying goods. That's right. 
Because right now we're buying a bunch of tools. Looks like the church is almost done. One priest assigned. We don't have a priest right now. I can't make a priest. Oh, it's the church. The church isn't done. Oh yeah, no, the church isn't done yet. Derp. Just, just the main building's done. I was gonna say, nobody can even get in the building. <laughs> There we go. Things are starting to... Everybody's getting happier. Faith is going up. As soon as we have to stop buying those tools, we'll actually start doing better. We can probably sell, too. But, eh, for now, we're okay. Anybody build more houses? No, not yet. No more houses were built. Seventeen gold coins a week. I'm hoping that means I'm going to get... Oh, a cost. Maintenance cost. Ooh. Eef. I made this a very expensive church. Whoops. That's okay. Good thing you can't go in the red in this game. Otherwise, I would be totally screwed. I suppose I probably could just start selling my own stuff. Seventy-two wood. Let's see. Trade... Trading resources, uh, sell all above the value of, I'm going to get this up to like 50. There. Now maybe I'll gain a little bit of money, like I'll sell, I'll buy tools, but then I'll sell a crap load of, of wood. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. This is almost done. Sweet. Oh, we're just working on this right now. We just need a builder to come over here and smack this a little bit more. I can't assign a priest. It says assign a priest. I, I literally can't. Well, we're getting through month four, so let's hope that this time it actually allows me to uh, promote people. I got so many people here now. Uh, I need to get... Yay! The church noticed your declaration to God and thus holds you in higher regard. God is why we were all here. Plus 10 to the faith. Nice. That's awesome. I I'm really happy about that. That's actually really, really awesome. I'm super happy about that. Uh, I want to get another gathering hut up. Let's get another gathering hut down. Because I feel like I'm going to need a lot more berries now that I have more people. Yeah, I'm going to need more berries because the... Oh, there's a hundred in here. Nonetheless, let's get some more. We're almost to the end of month four, which I'm hoping at the end of month four we can actually, like, move on. And, and get our serfs like we're supposed to. Maybe it's under actions. I wonder if like I have to do something. I'm actually gaining money. Woohoo! Okay, I'm just gonna assign some people here. I'm gonna get an extraction zone up. Ooh. I don't think I have another berry extraction zone at the moment. Doesn't look like it. Just in case, I'm gonna color that in. And I'm gonna color this in. Uh, let's look. Oh yeah, I can't really do anything yet. I mean, I could unlock the bailiff office. I guess we'll unlock the bailiff office because we didn't have that last time. And I'm going to turn the tower into a bailiff's office. Name a bailiff. A happiness is less impacted by 12% salary, 5 gold. Trade bonus 12% with village with alliance. Okay. Um, bonus provided happiness is less impacted, 12%. Um, let's do Rudolph. Select a mandate. Um. I 
I guess let's just go labor. I have no idea what that just did, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, so we have a bailiff office now and a church. An envoy is requesting an audience. Uh, 20 fish. I, I, I don't, I don't have any at the moment. I don't have fish yet. We're almost to the ability to get them though. We need 20 serfs and I have only 80. Crap. Uh-oh. I have to get a lot more money. In two days. Right now I only have enough because I think it costs 20 per person to upgrade. So I think I'm only going to be able to do like four or five people. Probably only four to be honest. That sucks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my trade. And I'm going to bring this down to 10. And I need to get more money. That is 100% the truth. Hmm. We're not getting any trade for wood. All right, here, let's do this. Budget, close that. Oh, promotion available. Here we go. Just do as many as I can. Uh, where is that other thing? So Mason's Hut is now available. Okay. Wheat farm, windmill, bakery, coal, iron smelter, blacksmith, and sheep statue are now available. Splendid Village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Wow. That is a lot of things. Iron smelter, blacksmith, these are all new. Wheat farm, windmill. Oh, I don't think the wheat farm and the windmill are new. Stonemason's hut, that's not really new. That just gets carved stone, but I would need... Huh. Wow. An iron exchange for coal and iron. Where's a mine? Well, where do I get a mine from? A coal hut. Okay, so that's how I get coal. Blacksmith. I need to get iron. Iron smelter and stores for coal and iron ore. So I definitely need a mine of some sort. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a, an iron resource that I have to find. Strange. What are my quests? No quests. Okay. So I'm pretty much on my own now with this, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. I just have to figure out what I want to do next besides just get money. Because right now, money is the problem. Definitely money is a problem. One new person arrived in the village. That's good. Uh, I know one thing that can definitely up our money right away, and that would be starting to sell more different types of food to these guys. Um... Definitely doing that would, would up the amount of stuff that we could do. Ooh. Warehouse. A wheat farm. I need 75 for a wheat farm. And then I need a wooden field to produce flour. And then a bakery to produce bread. And water. A granary. Okay, let's try to do some of this. Let's try to do this. Trading resources, let's trade a uh, regular stone, sell anything above 50, and then wood planks, sell anything above 50. That hopefully will produce more money for us, I'm hoping. Because we could use some money to start getting some stuff up. I think I'm going to turn somewhere like over here into a big wheat field. Seems like a good idea. Oh, I got 100% happiness. That's awesome. 228 berries, so nobody's going to be starving anytime soon. 
Uh, maybe I'll put in another uh, berry market. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put in another simple market, but I think I'm going to put it in up here. For this food stall. And just this little market sign, just because it looks good. And this fence, just because it looks good. Start construction. Thankfully, that cost a whole up and nothing in order to do. So, ooh, we got 100 gold. All right, let's start with the wheat farm. Build wind wheat farm. Start construction. Okay, the woodcutter needs more wood. Okay, let's send him up and over here. Go get you some. This is deforestation to the bat to the max, I guess. Our wheat farm is coming along famously, so we just got to keep that a going. Are we selling? We must have been selling something. Trade minus. Oh, we bought tools, didn't we? Ah. We must have bought in tools. We need more people and we need more money. I don't know why my trade is so low. Oh well, let's just get this going. We're gonna get bread made and then we're gonna start selling bread to our peeps so they can get more food. Are we done up here? We're done up here. Berries, assign another villager there. Okay, no crop field. Paint a crop field. I have no idea how much of this you'll be able to plant. Okay, we got three farmers. Hopefully that'll do good. I don't know if these are iron or stone. I'm assuming those are just stone, but... We have 12 serfs. Why do we have 12 serfs? I don't think I upgraded that many. I have to keep an eye on this because this doesn't it doesn't pop up in my face anymore and tell me hey people need to be upgraded. I have to actually look watch it. So I need to keep an eye on that guy. Ding ding the church is dinging away. Technically we're losing money but that's okay. Farm state growing. Okay. Perfect. Let's get the other buildings down. Build, let's do a windmill. I'm going to put the windmill pretty much like right next to it. Maybe I'll put it, I'm going to put it up on the hill. That looks pretty good. Let's put the windmill like, yeah, yeah, something like that. Start that construction. And then let's build the bakery a little bit like in the center of town, I guess. Just so everybody get, can get the smell of fresh baked bread, I guess. Ooh, I need 150 gold. Let's see if I can get it. It's plus 30 right now, so I think I should be able to, right? There it goes. Alright, perfect. That'll do. Farm state harvesting. Okay, so I must have got him on the wrong uh, wrong part of the, uh, the month for them to actually plant and harvest. Lots more tools needed. Lots of tools needed. I'm going to lose all of my money. Because we need to buy tools. Cool. 
Ooh, I need to turn you on uh, to... Oh, oh, wheat and then flour. And I think I'm gonna need another warehouse granary, to be honest. Let's put down another granary. We'll have to wait till we get some money to get that. Our envoy is requesting an audience. What you got, boy? Five bread. Bro, I ain't got five bread yet. I get you your bread when I get you my bread. Jeez, picky bitch. Okay, let's see. Estates, I can't get anything. I could get the wooden keep. Ooh, rustic church additional parts. Let me get that guy. But unlock the wooden keep. I need more kingdom perks in order to get that stuff. Uh, I need to build the wooden keep. Okay. Um, pull shiz. I didn't know where I was going to build the wooden keep. Uh, I guess we'll promotion available. Okay. There, we got some more people out of serfs. Ooh, I can almost get people uh, promoted to commoner. Nice. Uh, bush fence, fence, and wooden gate are now available. Really? Really? Ooh. A little bit of a wooden gate for whenever people come in. Because that's where everybody always enters from, right? And then over here is where, like, the envoy goes in and out of. I guess. I'd like to buy this area up here because this has got some more, like, stone area. And also, I wanted to build some stuff up here. I just don't have the money at the moment to do it. So I'm going to have to build my keep, like, right over here or maybe behind the church. Not really a good place to build it. Ooh, wait, I got an idea. I could build it across the river. Ooh. I could do that. I think I'm going to do that. But I think I'm going to do it in the next episode. So I want to thank everybody so much for joining me on this episode. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to you. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me something else you guys want to see me build. Or if I should do anything else in the game. Speaking of, I have more things for the Rustic Church. And we'll check out all of those in the next one as well. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one.